All right, so I'm outside of a 2019 Honda Ridgeline. This is the Sport Edition, um, and I'm gonna walk you through a couple things. I'll start you at the back just to show you a couple things. The first is, you can obviously throw your, your tailgate down this way, uh, and it is a dual action tailgate, so down here underneath, I can grab and pop it open the second way. Now, in here, your first thing you're gonna notice is right here, there's a lock. I do have additional storage under here, so right now it's unlocked, I can pop it open. Uh, you'll see my spares hidden away down here, uh, which I can pull open if I pop these tabs right here and slide it out. Uh, down in here, I do have storage, uh, and you can also use it as a, uh, like a cooler. It does have a drain plug right here, so if I wanted to load it up, I could drain it out too. What's really cool about this car is it has the additional storage. Uh, it's lockable, so you don't have to buy a toolbox. On top of that, you're getting a lined uh, cargo area and then you already have tie downs in so you've got two four six over there and eight and then I have additional storage here if you're in a higher model there would be a 110 volt outlet there and then I do have a lighting for the bed too so you can see all that uh, so that's what's going on with the bed <clears throat> I can see this set up with a hitch already uh, so I'd be good to go there I just need to get my harness now moving around to the side I have one of the seats flipped up so you could see uh, the amount of space you have, and then you don't have some huge track. It's a smaller track in this vehicle. You can look at a lot of different tr uh, makes and models to see that. Uh, so I wanted to show you one flipped up and then one down. Uh, I do have the tie downs for all of the uh, the seats in case I want to do uh, car seats back there, so you can see the plastic tabs to pull open to get it. Uh, to throw these down and put them up, pull them up. You just use this. Same thing. I pop it down, and then just all the way down, and you're good to go. So that's going the back seats. Uh, then you'll notice I do have air vents back here, and then I have cup holders in your doors. You can see them over there. So let's move into the front. Uh, this car is keyless entry, um, so you'll notice it's beeping at me right now. Uh, the black tab right here, if I was walking away from the car, I could press this, and it would lock it. To unlock it, I would put my hand in, and it would unlock. While I'm talking about keys, this car also has a remote start. So on your key fob right here, to use it, you always press the lock button first and then the remote start button. You hold that down for a couple seconds and it'll fire up the car. It'll run for 20 minutes, uh, after which um, it'll turn the car off. So it's just designed as a safety feature. Once I've started it though, it would still ask me to get in the car and put my foot on the brake and tap the start button just to acknowledge the key is now in the car. Uh, so that's how this function works. If I start up and realize I didn't want to continue to use it, I could press the unlock button and then the remote start button to turn it off. So that's just what's going on with the keys. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, moving over to the left side, your windows, you have auto up and down on your driver and passenger side, uh, your locks for the doors, your window locks. Moving over, you'll see your mirror control. So I've got left and right tabs and then I can adjust on the pad. Uh, my econ button, anytime I turn this button on, you'll see this green leaf, which I got flashing on and off. Uh, if the green leaf is on, it means it's working. Uh, how it works is it shuts down some of the electrical systems in the front of the car, affecting things like your AC unit and your accelerator. So just keep that in mind. It's gonna, it's gonna dampen some things to help improve gas mileage. Uh, now moving down below that, you'll see vehicle stability assist. This works with your traction control, so in the event that you go into a skid, it'll transfer power to whichever wheel is getting better traction uh, to help correct for the skid. This is always on unless you want to turn this off, and you have to press this and hold it for a couple of seconds to turn it off, and then you'll see the, uh, the alert come on or off, letting you know. So now it's off. See? There you go. So turn that back on. Uh, your cargo lighting in the back is right here, so you have a control light system set up right here. Now moving to the dashboard, or excuse me, I should say the steering wheel. First thing I'll search is right here. These are your Bluetooth controls. So to answer a call, to hang up a call or go back, uh, and then my voice command press this and you know, call so and so, and then it walks you through the prompts, so forth and so on. Now above that, you're gonna see a plus and minus. That's gonna be your volume controls. Left and right will jump between your favorite stations if you have them set up, uh, jump between the next tracks if you're going uh, Bluetooth. Uh, you know what I mean? If you have anything streaming, playing, or something saved to your phone that you're, you're, you're listening to wirelessly. Uh, and then source will jump between FM, AM, whatever you got hooked up. So right now you can see I have FM and AM, so it's toggling between the two. So that's how that works. Now moving over to the right side of the steering wheel, this is where my cruise control settings are. So my cruise main is what I'm gonna to set to turn them on and, and that's where you'll see this green button in the bottom there flashing. That'll actually stay on. So if I get out of the car and then turn the car back on, if it was left on when I got out, it'll stay on. So it's kind of nice. So that way once I get up to speed, all I gotta do is press set to uh, set my speed and then cancel and resume. These are pretty self-explanatory. My minus and plus right there will allow me to increase or decrease the speed once I've set it. Now below that, you're gonna see these buttons. Now this is gonna control actually the menu that's up here in the center of the screen. So if I press on the up button right here, it's gonna to toggle through these screens and give me some different options to look through. So just oil life, tire pressure, you know, tripometer information, things like that. So that's what's going on here. Um, so if you wanted to reset your trips, you've got a reset button right here. So pretty easy to understand as far as that. Now your lights, I have auto on off lights. So if I set them to auto right there to the hash mark, you'll see that now they're set to auto. And then my fog lights, whether I want them on or whether I want them off. So pretty easy as far as understanding the light setup. Uh, on the other side is my windshield wiper blades. So pull down to set them, uh, and then they are intermittent so I can affect the speeds. Now, 
when we are moving into the stereo setup. So this is more a classic look to a stereo, so your standard buttons and knobs. So for people who don't like, you know, touch screens and a lot of that, a lot going on, this is your classic setup. Um, as far as radio, this is where I'm at, FM, AM, you know, your ones and twos. Media, so USB, uh, Bluetooth, things like that, this is how you get to those options. To turn the stereo off and on, right there in the center of the volume knob, and then your volume controls are right there. I'm gonna jump back over to radio. Setting a preset, just in case you need to do it, get to the station you want, and then just press and hold, uh, it'll beep. And then it'll show you one, that's now the first one. And the same thing, just go to number two, press and hold, it'll beep, and then it'll be set to two, so you can see the two. Uh, so pretty easy to understand, and then I can jump through my tracks. You see, anything that I've saved, it'll allow me to jump through five, six, you know, I'm jumping around there. Uh, moving over to the other side, this will be my Bluetooth controls to jump to my phone. I don't have a phone connected to this car yet, though. Um, so that's where you would go. It'll initially prompt you to add a phone, so if this is your first time adding a phone, it'll walk you right through the prompts. Uh, my equalizer is going to be right here, so as far as bass, treble, left, right, fades, all that stuff, that would be your controls right there for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my menu button or jumping to a clock. So if I want to get to my clock adjustment, it's real easy to get to to change the clock on this. My settings in the car, this is where I can get to Bluetooth, things like that. If I want to add a secondary phone, uh, color theme, if I want to change this from red to blue to amber to, you know what I mean, whatever I want to change it to, gray. Uh, my clock format, if I want the uh, military time as opposed to the uh, the standard time. So just different options in here that you can get to. So that's what's going on right here. So pretty easy to understand. Anybody can work through this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, moving down, you'll notice that my flashers are right here. My AC setup is right here, uh, so I can control uh, left, right, and rear separate of each other, and I can lock it too, so it's just kind of nice. Um, so as far as that, you know, how much uh, fan speed I want, my controls for the, the air, you can see I have them synced up right now, so everything's working off my side. If I unsync them, then you'll notice this changes, but not these. So sync them up, and they all work off one side. So that's how this works, and it is set up with an auto feature. If I want to have auto to where it does just in the cabin to whatever temperature I set. Moving down below. I do have a power outlet and then I do have a USB here. I'm also gonna have another setup down inside of the uh, glove box here, or center, I should say center console. I've got another power outlet and another USB. This one's a 2.5, uh, so get you a little bit more juice. On the shifter, uh, you'll notice it's your standard setup, you know, park, uh, reverse, neutral, drive, and your lower gears. Uh, and then I do have a snow setting that'll adjust my traction, or uh, so it'll adjust my, my shifting points to help with traction control. Uh, so that's what this is. Uh, the interior of this car is black. You can see with the uh, kind of the graphite finish to it, uh, along with the finish on the dash too. Uh, if you have any questions about this car, I'd be happy to go over it with you. Just comment on the, the video. Uh, this car is set up with Homelink, so I have controls where I can set up my gate, my garage clicker, all those, and then standard what I call new car stuff. You know, sunglass holders, mirrors, and you know, just vanities and things like that. So that's what's going on in this car. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can always comment on the YouTube video. You can always call me at 512-443-4300 and ask for Justin. Um, or you can always email me at the letter J and then Fuller, F-U-L-L-E-R, so J Fuller at howdyhonda.com. Thank you much.